Hey everyone, Luke here with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to talk about what is the importance of physical therapy after knee replacement surgery. This is a great question that I got from one of my patients recently, and I thought it would just be a really good topic to just kind of go over generally big picture, you know, why do you have physical therapy? What is the importance of it after having a knee replacement? So here are six key reasons why physical therapy is important after a knee replacement surgery. So reason number one is to help be aware of and reduce risk of any type of complications. So there's a probably a handful of different complications that are more prevalent or possible, although in the big picture they are very rare after knee replacement, they definitely do happen and are a risk to be aware of. As physical therapists, we can help you be aware of what are those potential complications, such as developing a deep vein thrombosis or a blood clot in your leg, um, the potential for infection, the potential for developing a stiff knee replacement, and I'm sure there's some other things as well. And being aware of ways to reduce that risk, so different exercises and stretches, different management techniques and management strategies to help reduce your risk, and then also being aware and monitoring to make sure that no complications are developing or no red flags are developing as you progress through your rehab and recovery. The second reason that physical therapy is important is, is that your physical therapist is going to work with you to create a plan and create a program for you for your rehab and your recovery after surgery. So yes, this definitely includes exercises and exercises that are trying to achieve multiple different goals but also includes strategies for pain management and managing any other symptoms you may have such as swelling, stiffness, range of motion difficulties, um, we could call weakness as a symptom. So developing that plan and carrying out that plan with you and guiding you through that from the day of surgery through the weeks and few months till you're discharged from physical therapy and sent on your way um, to manage, hopefully with a good level of self-efficacy and self-empowerment, to manage the rest of your recovery on your own at that point. So creating a plan and a program. Number three, and I kind of touched on this with before here, is guidance. Providing guidance and reinsure, reassurance, um, helping to give you a good perspective and um, giving you sound expectations when it comes to the recovery process, when it comes to our goals, um, comes to what we're trying to achieve and what the best long-term outcome is going to be after having your surgery. And with that comes answering a lot of your questions and addressing your concerns. Um, you know, you're going to see your physical therapist pretty regularly, usually multiple times a week um, for a number of weeks to even up to a few months after surgery. And we're really there to help, you know, address those concerns, address, answer those questions. Is this thing normal that I'm experiencing? Is it a red flag? Is it a yellow flag? Should I be worried? Or is it a normal part of the process? What can I do to manage this thing that I'm dealing with, this pain or this other symptom or this difficulty that I have in achieving a goal? Um, we're just there to kind of be your, your guide, your guide through that plan and that program to rehab and recover after surgery. Number four, um, getting a little bit more now into the specific impairments and physical aspects of your recovery, is we want to avoid a stiff knee. Avoid that stiff knee after surgery. Now, of course, you're going to go through episodes of stiffness and pain and difficulty with your range of motion, but we're here to help you, again, rehab and recover and get through that. So address that stiffness, address that pain, that tightness after surgery, and regain your range of motion of your knee, your ability to straighten the knee fully and the ability to bend the knee fully so that you can get back to your functional activities and things that you enjoy. So helping to address that stiffness, helping to address, address those range of motion limitations and really addressing those you know, early on, day of surgery, day after surgery and throughout the recovery process is really jumping on that and getting that range of motion back as best and as soon as we possibly can. And in the same breath, number five is going to be address post-op weakness. Um, muscle weakness is a very significant um, 
aspect and, aspect and characteristic after knee replacement and after a lot of different knee surgeries. Um, but we want to address that weakness. We want to start building back that um, ability to contract your muscles with a full amount of force, being able to build back your strength. And again, that's going to build back your function, your activity tolerance, your ability to participate and do the things that you want. And that jumps right into the last point I had here, number six, is our goal and our end goal as physical therapists are to help you after your surgery to return to the activities and the quality of life and the ability to do the things that you want um, with relatively very little pain and discomfort and being able to tolerate those activities and enjoy those activities and do them with the people that you care about, your friends, your family, and just get back to life and a great quality of life after your surgery. You know, that's the whole reason you have a knee replacement is to, you know, address the symptoms, address the, the knee pain and the stiffness and the symptoms that are impacting your quality of life, impacting your ability to participate in the things that you want to participate in. Our goal is, you know, the surgeon did their job, they got you a great new knee um, prosthetic in there, and then our job is to help you and to guide you through that rehab, through that recovery, back to a better quality of life, better symptoms, better mobility, um, and just enjoying life and feeling better. So I hope that helped answer that question, um, gave you that generalized view of why is physical therapy important? If you found this video helpful, I'd encourage you to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you can catch all of our latest videos related to knee replacement surgery. As always, hitting that like button helps spread this video to other viewers, and I appreciate any comments and questions below, and I do my best to get back to everyone I see. Thank you very much for watching.